quite read these questions because you tore them up earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> Always be prepared to learn as much dialogue, no matter how many scenes they ask for, and at whatever short notice. Uh, learn the dialogue so that you know it back to front. Um, because going in semi-prepared leaves you very vulnerable. And if they ask for it at double the speed or to try and do something different and you're struggling to remember the lines, you will fall apart, in my experience. And the other thing is, uh, Taping yourself on iPhone or iPad is something that is increasingly something that I think actors are asked to do. So at least you can then redo it as many times as you like uh, in the privacy of your, you know, where you live before sending it off. I think that's enormously helpful. I think that, that relying on other actors to either write something together or tape something together, even if it's a short film um, or creating a theatre piece, is invaluable because then you are in charge of it. So you feel empowered by that rather than just being the vulnerable person walking through the door and having to perform for somebody in, you know, usually in very unpropitious circumstances, you know, against a blank wall. You're supposed to create and invest something in, in a scene. I think the, the Stanislavski list of what they were, walk, sound like, what they've done before, and writing out a history of what this character does is invaluable and it gives you a bedrock in your head. Even if you've got five lines of dialogue, you know who that person is and that somehow transmits. I've been told, because I'm married to a voice teacher and dialect coach, is to deep breathe as much as possible. And even if you have to take three breaths, which may, may seem a long time, before you start, because your nerves, in my experience, make you stutter and rush. And so you, you get ahead of yourself and they can pick up that panic and the camera especially picks it up. So I think that that's essential. And the other practical tip is that if you bite gently down on the back of your tongue, you release saliva into your mouth because in my nerves, everything dries up instantly. So if you're taking a deep breath, biting down on the back of your tongue, it gives you just a moment of preparation. Directing means, I think, being open to whatever an actor comes up with. And in the same way as an actor, as much as you've prepared the backstory and how you have interpreted your audition or your part, if a director then says, I see it in a completely different way, if you start arguing with that, you may lose the job or you may get cut out of the film completely. Whereas if you go with what they're saying, because you're prepared and you know what your backstory is, even if it's a very skeletal one, then you have the freedom to follow wherever they're leading you. So I think that it, it works in exactly the same way, whether you're directing or acting. Being open, but prepared. If you feel that what you are saying or doing is not truthful, stop yourself. And I've worked with actors who have done that midway through a take. They've gone, no, sorry, can we start again? Because it just doesn't feel right. I know it's not right. Um, so be brave and bold enough, if you can, to go, give me a minute, and then go, go into it again. As so I think it, you, you feel and you see it instantly. Never give up because nobody wants you to be a success and nobody wants to believe in you, in my experience. So you have to accept that rejection is an enormous part of it. And once you've embraced that, then you go, well, bugger it, I've got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm.